up the claw now, baby. Gonna sit by the sea. I can smell the salt air. And exit 63. No more concrete. No more steel to stand and serve now, baby. Is all I feel. Just float along. Yeah, just float along. Rolling water. Listen to the beach ball strong My six strings, baby He smiles. In the quiet of her mind, there's a place for him. There's a place for him. She would hit rewind if the world let that happen. Here and there she goes inside that part, inside her. In their eyes she knows He is always there with them laughing She lets go But she holds on She closes doors But never locks them New love takes her by surprise and she knows he smiles Love 
Life, it don't slow down. It takes us for a ride. We have faith and close our eyes. Believe it or don't, the ones we love and lose are never gone. If she lets go, but she holds on. She closes doors, but never locks up. New love takes her by surprise, and she knows he smiles. He smiles. called Go. Sometimes the only way to say I love you is to say goodbye. Sometimes the only real good answer is the one that'll make her cry. You can say your stories one more time. You can stay or go to make up your mind. You can leave or go to leave something behind. Sometimes the only way to say I love you is to say goodbye. Oftentimes the only way to make her mean it is to walk away. I know you feel guilty for a reason, but it not reason enough to stay. You can tell yourself a thousand times that this time things might change. If your heart feels like that's a lie, it's sure to show your mind the way. No. Just when that ache inside takes hold, remember sometimes the only way to say I love you is to go. Sometimes the best way to say I love you is to go.
And I'd be breaking all the rules If I thought you had the odds I grew up hard Hustle's way I'd take a dollar and it made my day I'd be breaking all the rules If I want to suit mine The hustler's way is a stormy night by day Always looking across your shoulder on the run Always on the run I'd be breaking up Late at night, just think about just how life cheated you out. And you put the blame on someone else. Much easier than yourself. So you live in cardboard castles Watching tomorrow pass you by Another night turns into a, another day And your dreams just slip away slip away Writers Workshop, and today we're really fortunate to have some very talented musical guests from the Orange County area. Our featured guest is Evan Tiedem, and he performed as a trio with Leslie Ann Bowie and Al Batiata. And uh, I'm going to start with you, Evan, and ask you a few questions. Um, just some basic questions, <laughs> first of all. Um, give us a, a little bit of your background, your musical history. Well, I grew up in Staten Island, New York, and uh, Staten Island. And then I came here about 20 years ago. I met uh, Leslie Ann, and uh, I had played as a child, as a teenager, in you know the local circuits and the local bars. And when I came up here, I didn't know anybody. And we've been together for about 18 years, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we just, we, you know, we do what we like. We play where we want to play, and uh, we play the music that we like to play. And um, and then I met this guy over here. Uh, his name is Al Badayato, but I call him Al. <laughs> He's the guy with that cool little um, drum kit that he made, and he, he should patent because it <laughs> sounds so great. And we kind of gel, and we hang out and make music with all these guys, um, with Judy, with Bruce. We just um, we kind of frequent the same areas, and we jam, and we, we make music together. 
Um, your style, you have a really nice vibe to your, to your music. Um, it's, you know, a style that, um, I, I don't want to say it's easy listening, but it, it's very relaxing. Like, it really made me just feel really chill. Now, have you always liked to play that style, or? I do, I do a bunch of different things, but that mm. seems to, oh, when I write music, mm -hmm. we're talking about the singer-songwriter yeah. workshop. Whenever I write music, that's the kind of stuff that just comes out, mm -hmm. and it's mm, a lot of, um, it's very cathartic mm -hmm. um, when I write. Well, however, when I do copies and covers, I span all kinds of different genres, mm -hmm. but it seems when I write, it comes out like that, and I don't know why. I, but I always, I think that's so interesting. I mean, just, you might listen, I, I grew up listening to, you know, goth, punk, hardcore, but what the stuff I write, it's like Judy Collins or like yeah, fairy, yeah, yeah. fairy tales, butterflies and unicorns, you yeah. know. But yeah, you have to go with what you, you know, what your comes out of you. So, right, right. yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about where your inspirations come from when you write music. I think uh, James Taylor is kind of hack to say, but it really is. I mean, that's what I was born and raised on, and uh, there's so many James Taylor singer songwriters. But I really, you know, go to him, mm -hmm. and I. When I write songs, I'm like, that's not my song. That's a James Taylor song, <laughs> you know. Um, but that was my roots uh, musically, chordally, you know, when I was learning guitar. Mm -hmm. um, all the um, unusual chords that he do, does, um, I kind of said, oh, you know, I looked into that a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it definitely became part of my writing style, right. you know. What about subject matter? Subject matter <laughs> is different because um, uh, sometimes I'll do it... Um, I'll write a song and I'll say, that's way too personal. <laughs> I can't share this with the world, you know? And I think any, anybody who writes songs would agree with me that sometimes you just gotta, you'll write a song and it's really personal and then you pull it back a little bit and you make it a little bit more generic. Mm -hmm. So, you know? Yeah, yeah. For me, anyway. Right. Um, now with Judy, on the other hand, I mean, I, th I thought your song, I Don't Do Lonely, was very personal, but I didn't feel like, like it was laid out on the table in a way that was, uh, you know, embarrassing. Or I mean, I think some artists can really lay it out on the table, and it's okay. What do you think? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. I think that one can be generic in a way. I mean, obviously I wrote it specifically about a certain situation. It was actually about several different situations and I just made it all one thing. It's like you take a situation and you just blow it out of proportion to make it into a song, mm -hmm. I think. Instead of, and, and I've written other ones that are way too personal and would never be something that, you know, universally people would really necessarily want to listen to because it's about my story. Mm -hmm. But that one, yeah, that one's, and the other one that I wrote right after that was actually in particular written one day I was thinking, a girlfriend of mine, her husband was killed in Iraq, and now, years and years later, she has four children, and she's, has, she's moved on. Mm -hmm. And that was, she was on my mind, and I just sat down and wrote it in like five minutes. Right, right. And she's gonna use that now, because she's, uh, she's actually an author of stories, so she's gonna write a book, wow. and she's gonna use that. Mm -hmm. So, I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> she liked it. <laughs> but her name's Barb Allen. And she has, um, yeah, she has four kids, and she's written this, she's, she's already written one book, and, uh, that was actually the story of her husband's murder. He was murdered by someone, in an, an American. He was not killed by someone else. So there was a whole case and everything. So now she's writing another book, which is fiction, and it's about widows moving on, and what it's like for widows to move on. So, and I, that was on my mind. I only must have been talking about it. And that's what made me write that song. He smiles, that he's still looking down on her, and she knows that he's smiling. Well, the subject matter of your songs were very, you know, in some ways more complex, but Bruce, on the other hand, you had a very simple song about moving to the country or taking, like walking in the country, but the way you sang it with such conviction and uh, uh, it, was, it was very emotional, you know, the way, you're, the way you, uh, you, your treatment of it. Um, the way I believe that when I write songs is I, literally do put my soul on paper. And whereas almost every musician I know of has a CD, I've got a book <laughs> of songs, of poems, because I could never go into the studio and, and get it to sound like I wanted it, like I wanted to hear it. Um, the Hustler's Way, uh, that happened to me 
in, I, I was born in Jersey, moved to California. I was there 25 years, quick vacation. And <laughs> I was at the 4th Street Promenade and a homeless guy that I didn't know he grabbed me on the back. And when he did to beg for money, I turned around and I scared him. And he's pleased. And as he started to run away, I wasn't. I was actually coming after him, saying, "I'm sorry. I'm sorry." Here, you know. And I tracked him down to a, an apartment building where somebody must have gave him a little parking spot with a cardboard house in it that he was living in. And I pulled out. I had five bucks, and I gave him five dollars. And I told him, "I'm going to write a song about this someday." And it was called "The Hustler's Way." Was that with the cardboard castle? The cardboard castle, <laughs> and how he told me that, you know. It wasn't his fault how he is and how in life, you know, people tend to blame other people for all their problems instead of taking them on themselves. Um, out in the country, I love the country and that was pretty, that was me. That was, I do love the country. I love, you know, everything about it. Um, I could also live in the city, but I do love the country. I'm Only Human was, uh, again, my soul on paper. I make mistakes every day. You know, you pay, some of them you pay for the rest of your life with karma, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it just keeps going on and on, but to let people know it's okay to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, for me writing songs, a lot of times it's just triggers. You know, I could talk to somebody and they'll say a phrase and it'll bring up a, a whole song. You know, I could watch a movie and somebody will say a line, but most of everything I write is my life. It's almost a an autobiography of my life. Mm -hmm. And again, my stuff was on in books, and hopefully I'm getting ready with Evan to go record. Um, I do. I do have a couple <laughs> claim to fame. One of them is the Gobble song that I wrote when yes. I was 17 years old. Oh, it was, sorry, it was played by Dr. Demento for about three years, 1987, 88. You go on there, and from there, the gong show pulled me on. This was not when Chuck Barris was there. <clears throat> Don Blue was the announcer. And I, I sang the gobble song. I got an eleven. I didn't get I didn't get gone. What did and Elaine Boozler give you? She wasn't there. That oh. was Chuck Ferris. Um So you know, I, I was lucky in California. I was there for twenty five years. I came close a lot of times to um, making my dream come true. But I was kind of stubborn in how I heard the music. Again, which is why I have trouble with playing with bands and going into studios because I hear something in my head, and that's what I would like to do. What I, what I like about Bruce's music is that he, even though it's, um, he's talking about out in the country and it's, it gives you a lot of space, mm -hmm. but it, it creates like an imagery. Right. It gives you time for your mind mm -hmm. to think about what he's saying. Yeah. And, you, yeah. you know, everybody's picturing something different, you know, mm -hmm. and that's why I love, he's got this acoustic instrumental that, um, I don't know the name of it. What's the name of that? It's staying calm. <laughs> it's it's like uh, it's like Bach. It's beautiful and it just paints these great, you know, mind photographs. Right, right. You know. And I grew up doing the Cat Stevens, James Taylor, uh -huh. my hero Harry Chapin. Mm -hmm. You know, um, everybody was telling a story, and that's what mm -hmm. I try to do. I, I, I really appreciated the space in your music too. And I also really loved uh, the contrast between like the urban song about the homeless guy into the country. You know, it was, it was a good back to back. Okay. Um, Judy, could you give me um, some names of some people that you were influenced by musically? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. I would say from the very beginning, my parents had records of John Denver, who is my, one of my absolute favorites. I love folk music. Mm -hmm. um, I, we listen to that, and my both of my parents have beautiful voices. They can sing just about anything. Studio. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and they, they had records. They had every single musical you can think of <laughs> on the planet. So I listened to all of them, and my dad was in tons of them. Um, but I would say, you know, John Denver, and now, now I listen to a, lo a lot of everything, but I kind of tend to lean toward country just because I think that that's the way my voice sounds. That's the way my voice breaks, mm. kind of like a country singer. Um, obviously not from the country, because I'm from Goshen. <laughs> Land of Goshen. Land I guess you could call that the country, I guess, out here. It's not, you know, see, you say you're from New York and everyone assumes you're from Brooklyn. Mm. Which, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> but uh, I would say he's probably one of my main influences. I, I keep trying to think of like a female that mm. I, I really listen to, but I can't, I mean, because I listen to country, I would say. I have to say that, you know, this is going to be very unpopular of me to say this, but 
I really respect Taylor Swift. I think she's an amazing songwriter. Mm -hmm. And I think she has a beautiful voice and I think she gets a bad rap, but mm -hmm. if you really listen to what she writes, she's just amazing. And mm -hmm. I love listening to her and I love covering her songs. Jennifer Nettles. Yes, yeah. Jennifer Nettles. Yeah, she has a beautiful voice. Yeah. That Yeah, they're amazing. Country. <laughs> oh, Bruce and Judy, are you guys playing anywhere? Like, do you play out anywhere that we can see you? Or do you have any links that you can give us I that we can hear your music? I don't. I always, I always say I'm a singer songwriter with a straight stage fright. I mean, I, I'll, my, I, I'm a mess before I play out places. But I love to sing. I post on Facebook. There you go. Okay. <laughs> and YouTube. Okay. He probably plays out. I, I do have a Facebook, uh, Bruce Perone, P E R O N E one R. Um, a MySpace, the same thing. Um, yeah. Oh is that God. still around? Does that around? still work? Really? Yeah. <laughs> People actually use that? Um, I do play at, at, at a, a winery that I love dearly. Um, it's called Palaya Vineyards. We love, we love Palaya. One of my favorite places, big stages, and it's just, it's a lot of fun. And I play out as much as possible. And without telling like Palaya or anybody else that might be listening, I would play there for free because this is what I love to do. But the minute you start negotiating, we got to put money in. <laughs> uh, yes, so I do play out. Yes, I do. Yeah. What about you, Evan? Give us, give us a place where we can. Leslie and I've been playing. Leslie and I, we've been playing out um, any kind of venue. We've had some some crazy gigs in the 18 years we've been together. We played a really cool foyer one time. <laughs> yes, yeah, a foyer. <laughs> and then and then we played another place, and I said, "Come on, this will be really cool." And it was a cafeteria. <laughs> but besides that, we do play some cool places. We uh, play the Palaya Winery. We play the Warwick Winery a lot. And we play together. And, yeah. and we it, jam together. The all-star band. Whenever we get, whenever, if he's coming to my gig, or I come to his, he, he always makes me come up and vice versa. Al, Al is big. And anybody who can grab Al for a drumming thing will grab him. Because he's, he just sits in. He's so flawless. And, and Leslie can sing harmony to anything. But um, I also play in a, a Beatles tribute band. We're going to be playing the Falcon next Sunday. We're going to be doing the um, uh, Newburgh Brewery. Um, the Castle. Is what about some of your links or your websites so we can um, look at your calendar? We have uh, Evan and Leslie Facebook page. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about that? Sure. Um, we are on Facebook, yes. E-V-A-N and L-E-S-L-E-Y. Um, and we do, I, we do keep... On top of that, we post our gigs, come our upcoming shows there. Um, you know, it, it's it's a it's a good little uh, tool, um, but mostly, you know, pretty much what he said. <laughs> oh, and we're playing the Warwick Valley Winery. We do, we do, we do. Yeah, we're doing the Dylan Fest in May. Uh, they have this wonderful. Uh, it's like two days. Is it the whole weekend? It's, uh, it's all three days. Yeah, it's three, three days. Day Memorial Day weekend. And it's, it's very cool. <laughs> but we're doing this, the, what day are we doing? Are we doing Monday? We're doing Monday there. Uh, and it's just a Dylan fest. It's just like a Dylan party. Everybody just plays Bob Dylan. Good plug. You got a lot of nerve. No, you don't have to sing like him. We sing like us. We do our yeah, stuff. Right. Yeah, but we do I his love songs. Guys. It's all of his songs. All right, let's give Al some light. Come on. Come on, Al. Al, give us a little background. Bada bing, huh? Come on. Bada bing. What's your story? I've had a beautiful drum set in my downstairs in my house for 25 years and it never left the house. Um, I have massive speakers and I'm, I'm in Madison Square Garden and the crowd is cheering and I'm all sweaty and I go upstairs and back to my normal little life. And So one time Evan asked me to play at uh, Great America Weekend and I'm like, great. And then I'm like, is there going to be people there? <laughs> That's how I felt. And uh, he's like, yeah, it, it, get out. And uh, <laughs> petrified to no end. And that was two years ago. Oh, and uh, wow. slowly. <laughs>
but it feels so real Just like I'm talking to you Your hand touches my face But I'm just walking through Another lonely day It's the night that seem to drag on and on. It's a fight to make myself hold on. Feels just like falling through. Escapes my lungs. I long for you, and I never long for anyone. I don't do lonely. I don't. It's not fair No matter where I turn You're not there, no You think I would learn Guess I'm just not one of those Needs my time or space. I wanna be held close at the end of the day. I don't do lonely. I don't do lonely. No. called Out in the Country. Spending my life so carefree. Oh, you can't find me beneath the shady tree. Watching clouds roll by It's where I'm gonna be If you listen you can Hear the sounds of bluebirds singing Their 
song will fill the air You're letting go of all your care Let me take you Let me take your hand Walk together In our promised land Oh Is that in the country sun will settle down stars shining and there's moonbeams all around fireflies come out into your day Hold me close tonight, it's all romance this see. You and me. And if you listen, you can hear the sounds of bluebirds singing. Song will fill the air, letting go of all your cares. Out in the country, out in the country. Out the country <laughs> Thank you This one is called I'm Only Human
Spirits in my coffee cup for the sun goes down. Wait for the end of a rainy day, hoping that tomorrow is another way. Goes around, comes around. Feel like I'm screaming out loud, but I don't make a sound. I
all that's right is all that's left You've done everything wrong I wish I knew now what I know back then I want to make it right but I don't know how Here for you like now I want to carry you, protect you I know I tried, I know I told her Brings a tear to the eye Of the bloodshot beholder I'd like to get home before so the name of this song is uh, what? Summertime. Summertime. And what are the chords? The chords? I don't know. I'm just a singer. Don't you laugh at me. Are you having fun? Is this fun for you? Or is it stress? Play the song, please. Walk 